Hello friends, welcome back. Today we would be learning a very simple but a very important topic that is how to browse for files using Excel macros. Now, when you are using Excel macros, you would be coming across situations where you need to read some kind of a file. To perform read or write operations on any kind of file, you will need to know the location of the file and which you would need to provide in your macro code. In this tutorial, I would demonstrate how to actually browse to the file on which you need to perform read or write operation so we will create a macro that would actually browse to the file like the macro would be something like this here you have something called file name i have just written as file name in this text box we'll have the entire file path with the file name and this is the browse button so click on this browse button this kind of a windows explorer would open and here depending on which file you wish to read for example if i wish to open this sample excel file i just click over there click on open and i have the path over here so without wasting any time we'll go to the code and see how to create this kind of a macro which would open the file explorer so to go to the code window you have to use your keyboard alt and function key f11 i click on alt f11 this kind of a window would open here on the top vba project and your excel workbook name right click insert module so this is the window where you would be writing the code so the first line would be sub and any name of the sub this is like a function so here our intention is to browse for files so i am writing the name as browse file braces enter when you hit enter end sub would come automatically and between sub and end sub the code for actually opening the file explorer would come so let's move ahead and actually write the code the code is very very simple it is a one line code it goes like this application dot get open file name that's it this is the line of code which would be actually opening the file explorer it is damn simple let's execute this piece of code and see what happens so i just click this green button on the top and if you could see this piece of code has actually opened the file explorer now i click on cancel now if we want the file explorer which we just saw to get opened on a click of a button like if i have this kind of a browse button and that file explorer we saw should open then what we have to do for that i'll take a new sheet so that i could explain you from the scratch so what i'll do here on this sheet to make it more presentable i'll go to view and i'll just remove the grid lines this is not necessary it is just i like this view where we do not see the grid lines and the presentation becomes more clear so what you can do over here is like uh, you can have something called like this file and here you could just expand this go to home here you have this option for customizing borders what i'll do is i'll just take this thick outside border and we'll use this kind of a text box it's not a text box it is just an excel cell but we'll use this to store the file path finally we would be needing a button kind of a browse button on the click of that button the file explorer would open for getting that button go to the developer tab here you could see something called insert click over there and you would find something called form controls under the form controls there is this button kind of a thing button control select it and drop it anywhere on your excel sheet you will have this kind of a window for now just click cancel i'll show you when to use use this so you have this button available over here you could just move this button anywhere so i'll just keep it near the cell which we just bordered with dark black color i'll just increase its width now here you could see its text is button one i would change its text to browse at this point 
the button is ready now what we want is like when I click on this button the file explorer should open now the file explorer opening code is mentioned under this sub the name of the sub is browse file so what you have to do is link this sub browse file with the button which we created over here that is very simple navigate to your button do a right click assign macro select the option assign macro and here you'll get the name of the macro you'd see by default it is showing button one underscore click we do not want that we want this button to be associated with the sub browse file so i select browse file over here and i click ok now this button has been associated with the macro code which has been written over here so whenever i click this browse button the expectation is that the file explorer should open so let's test that i go to this button and i click this button let's see what happens and if you would see this kind of a file explorer has opened and from this file name you could navigate to any file located in any drive of your system what i'll do i'll just click cancel over here because what i want to do is like whatever file path i select should be populated in this cell which is cell c4 so let's write the code to populate this cell c4 with the file path it is very simple what you have to do is take any variable i am taking as str file path is equal to this thing application dot get file name and what you have to do is on the next line you should know on which sheet you are doing the operation so in our case it is sheet 2 of the same workbook so the line of code would be this workbook dot sheets the sheet name in our case is sheet 2 dot range the range is c4 in our case dot value is equal to str file path so what we have done we have stored the file path in this variable over here and we are using this variable at this point so the code is ready now let's see what happens when i actually click the browse button so when i click this browse button you could see the file explorer has opened you could select any location on your system i am selecting this test one or ie auto i am selecting this ie underscore auto excel sheet and when i click on open you can see this cell c4 has been correctly populated with the file which we browsed through the file explorer so this is how you can use the file explorer to select any file just couple of lines of code and you are done very simple make sure there are no spelling mistakes it should be this workbook dot sheets and whatever sheet then the range its value and the file path so this is how you browse for files using excel macros i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you like my videos i request you to please subscribe to my channel so that you would be updated with the latest tutorials i would be uploading friends thanks for joining i would see you in my next tutorial goodbye